you doing, Mo? <sighs> yeah, I'll go with Lowe's. And I'll raise you 50. 50? Mo, this is a friendly game of poker. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. 50 is a lot, no? Yeah, sure. All right. Another 50. You're cool. <laughs> I hate to clean you out again. Uh, not so fast. So fast? You're gonna fall. <laughs> I think that's why they call it bluffing. <laughs> Come on, give me another hand like you did last time. How often do you see a guy who looks scared and scary at the same time? You're a lying, cheating, one of bandits. Tough. And I think twice before I take that out of here. Shall we? We'd better. What did he say? Goodbye. Got that part. What was the other part? Garde le foie. Keep the faith. Everybody stay with her. Who is responsible for this? The big guy speaks French and his last name's Reed. We know someone just like that. Isabel. Thanks once again for keeping me out of harm's way. No need. I feel there is something that I should do, do in return. Please don't bother. It's an old matter of our tradition. Good day, my friends. If we should need somewhere to sleep, maybe something to eat. Why are you two following me? Well, we're not. Not really. The truth is there is someone who... Yes. ...who has the same name as you. Is that so? I have blue eyes. Do you know other people who have blue eyes? William, let me ask you this. Do you have a family? A brother, maybe? Or a sister? I don't see what concern this is of yours. Yes, I have a sister. Is she older or younger? Younger by 12 years. There's a woman who lives here. She's a friend of ours. British like yourself, raised in France. She told me once she had a brother. And she's the first woman you ever met who had a brother. She said she was separated from him when she was a child. First name? Isabel. Sound familiar? Maybe. Is there any harm in seeing her for yourself? She's on Maria buying horses, but she'll be back in a few days. Well, we could take you to her.
What do you think? I think there's more to his story than he told us. Looks like he's afraid of something. <laughs> if Isabel's his sister, he's got reason to be afraid. Let's just keep on our toes, David. In case his real name isn't Reed. Unexpected trip, really. Just that I dropped by. Make sure nobody sold you any rotten horse flesh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Will it get me from A to B? Oh, you're yeah, a lot of help. I didn't go to Miss Potter's Riding Academy, did I? Neither did I. You said your father sent you. Did I say that? Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, my father was a counterfeiter. Unfortunately, he did not pass on his artistic talents to me. I see. So you lied about your father. Mm. Typical. <laughs> didn't you tell me you had a brother? Yes, William. I didn't lie about that. He taught me how to ride. How long ago was that? Mm. 20 years. My mother died when I was eight. My father died a year later, in jail. And I was adopted out because I was good cheap labor. And William? Ah, oh, he was gone by the time my parents had died. Every day, I hoped he would eventually come back and reclaim me. They told me he died at sea. Did you ever wonder if it was true? Perhaps he isn't dead. I don't believe in fairy tales. Isabel, I think William is alive. What did you say? I said, I think your brother William is alive. I've mourned my brother for 20 years. How dare you make a joke of that? I should have taken the time to clean myself up. Well, if she is your sister, she won't notice. Be a miracle if she remembers me. Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about you, Miss Bell. I care. It's been a while. William? What, you say you're my brother? Have I changed that much? Have I? Isabel, Lucinda Reed. What can I do to convince you? Are you my knight in shining armor? Or just another lousy villain? <laughs> Could you? How could you do that to me? Lied for 20 years. Where were you? Was it so impossible to look for me? Find me? It's a bad night. There's so much. No more lies, William. I was a little girl worshipping her big brother. You don't think I haven't learned to live without you? Maybe if we all just. Uh... Shut up, David. Isabel, please. There are so many things you don't understand. Make me understand. I wanted to return sooner. But I was trying to make my way in the world, for the both of us. By the time I got back, you had gone. Oh, I looked for you endlessly. I never stopped looking for you. But it's... it's a big world. What part of this world were you in that you couldn't find me? Africa, Persia, Constantinople, Martinique, Algiers. I have been a soldier for 20 years. For England, Austria, and for the last half dozen years, the Foreign Legion. I have been to so many places and heard so many different languages that sometimes in my dreams I don't understand the words I speak. 
What brought you here? I was posted to New Caledonia, where I met a young woman from Tahiti, Alea. We fell in love. What? Yes, Isabel, yes. For the very first time in my life, I understand why birds sing and why poems are written. We are to be married. Married? As soon as possible. <laughs> and you know what I believe? That it is the hand of God that made all this come to pass. It brought me to Alea. And now... to you. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Reunion or not, we're back where we started. He hasn't told us everything. I don't think so. So here we are, miles out of sea, and he's still looking over his shoulder. Cold. So he's left the jungle. How do you know that? If he was planning to return, he wouldn't have left that behind. So, he thinks he's lost us. Well, won't he be surprised? Wherever he's gone, he would have had to pass through Matavai. Mm -hmm. Someone sure to have seen him. Wherever he is, let's find him and kill him. What's your hurry? You're being well paid. Get back to North Africa. Tired of killing these bugs. I realize I'm not a member of your church, Reverend, but my sister Isabel said you could. William, there's no need to be concerned. I'd be delighted to officiate. That's wonderful. We'd like a mixed wedding, a combination of Polynesian and Christian rites. Fine. Have you set a date yet? Why not tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes. William. Why not? Well, tomorrow's. Colin may be busy yet. Um, isn't it a little soon? Soon? For who? We've been waiting for three months. And now we're all together. I can see no reason to delay the wedding. Elaine? None. I'd like nothing more than to marry William tomorrow. Well, since both parties agree, why not? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Lavinia! <laughs> Your brother just told me. Ooh, I can't believe you didn't tell me you were getting married. Oh, I'm sorry, but we were keeping it a secret. This is William. I know. Isabel's brother. I can't believe it. <laughs> How long have you two known each other exactly? Since, Since childhood? childhood. <laughs> there are only two people in Tahiti that don't know each other. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful in this. Do you think so? Yeah. Leia, you seem so relaxed, so content. Aren't you nervous about marrying someone you've only known for three months? It's not how long you've known someone that's important. That's a relief. What do you mean? Well, David and I have been together for five years. Well, Lavinia, everyone assumes you and David will get married one day. Mm. I know when I met William. Well, I could tell right away that our lives were meant to be joined. Did William feel the same way? Oh, yes. He knew before I did. He was always talking about our future together, where we'd live, what names we'd like for our children. What do you think? Beautiful. So, 
You've talked a lot about the future. Well, that's all we talk about. Why? Do you think that's unusual? I don't know. Blair, I don't know. Why would any man want to get married so fast? It's called true love. Maybe. But I still don't understand it. He reunites with Isabel, a sister he hasn't seen in 20 years, and the wedding can't wait a few days. What are they going to do? Send out invitations by jungle drums? <laughs> well, it is a traditional wedding. Do you think it has something to do with whatever trouble William's in? Whatever trouble we think he's in. Now, those two there, that's trouble. No argument from me. Gentlemen. Absinthe. Make it two. Leave the bottle. Certainly. This is Reed's type of place. We should hang out here. Man his size is hard to miss. We ask around. If he's here, someone will have seen him. Gentlemen. Thank you. Claire, I didn't order these. I know. Those two men over there at the bar are looking for William Reed. I just thought you should be aware. What are you looking at? Something we can do for you, gentlemen? You can buy us these drinks. Of course. Claire, can you put those drinks on my tab? Certainly. A votre sorte. Quelle est la foi? What brings you to Matavai? Who wants to know? David Brief. And you are? Looking for somebody. Big man. Name of William Reed. You seen him? Why would you want to know? That's our business. And what business would that be? Gentlemen, it is a custom in these parts to talk frankly with anyone who buys you a drink. Is that so? Uh, yes. We're in the hunting business. Oh, big game? That's right. Really? You won't find a lot of those in these parts, will you, Mark? Oh, lizards, maybe. Pigs. Chickens. <laughs> if you're lucky, you might even get a couple of snakes. I don't think so. Now drink up. Come on. And get out of here. We will meet again. You can be sure of that. In that case, it'll be your turn to buy. hoping to tell us something about William. Well, I didn't want them to think that we knew him. Gardez la foi. I know. Where have we heard that before? Maybe William Reed can tell us. Lavinia. David. You see those two motley-looking men out there? They're asking about William Reed. You ever seen them before? No. But you and I need to talk. Sure. Uh-oh. You know, I don't understand all this because of Alay's wedding. No, David. It is not just because of the wedding. But it has given me a chance to think about things between you and me. Well, let me get this straight. Are you talking about marriage? I'm talking about commitment. Well, what do you want? I'm not seeing anybody else. I'm with you whenever I'm in town. That is not commitment, David. Look at Maruri and Liani. Look at William and Ilaya. They are committed to lives together, with homes and families. So you want kids now? I just think it's time we talked about our future. We've always said, let the future take care of itself. I know. And that's not good enough anymore. Then what is? Do you ever see yourself married to me? Starting a family? Have you ever thought about that? Yes. Yes, but what? Not yet. Isn't that it? Isn't that what you were going to say? 
And why are we together? What do you mean? Think about it. Why are we together? Been slapping David into line, have you? Yes, actually. Good for you. Love a good fight. Only, I think my technique's a little different from yours. Oh, really? Hmm. You see, first I got him into a headlock over his definition of commitment. Then we traded blows over whether we should let the future take care of itself. And finally, surprised him with a quick jab to his assumptions as to why we're together. So who won? Oh, nobody won. Not yet. We're both waiting for round two. Well, let me know how it turns out. Oh, I'm sure you'll be the first to find out, because you'll be right behind us, won't you? Spurring us on, counting the moments until you can step over the debris of our relationship and claim your prize. me everything I know about horses, William. I shouldn't be a part of this. Because it belongs to you, Isabel. You're the one who built all this. So I can't share it with you? What are you going to do? You've been a soldier all your life. And you can't be a soldier and a family man. And you don't know a trade. I'll come up with something. Alaya and I intend to be away for a while. I'll think about it then. Then all your money will have gone. I really want to share this with you. Don't you see how happy that would make me? I'll think about it. Promise? Hmm. Hand me that riding crop. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Nothing. Oh, something wrong? Does it bother you what I said? Maybe. It's just pride. I don't feel I should be a part of something I haven't heard. William. Well, let's talk about it while we ride. Now, you go on ahead. I'll catch you up. <laughs> All right. Telegram, Lieutenant. Read it for me, please. Sir, authorities are to be on the lookout for a deserter from the French Foreign Legion. Stop. May be armed and dangerous. Stop. Hmm. Does this man have a name? Uh, Reed, Lieutenant. William Reed. An Englishman. Hmm. Deserter. Well, at least he's not a Frenchman. Sir. William Reed has disappeared. On the day of his wedding. This is commitment. <laughs> not funny, David. And I don't think it's a question of pre-wedding jitters. Why not? Because Molay and his soldiers are out looking for him. What for? I don't know. But I doubt if it's to give him an early wedding present. Yes, I am looking for him. The man's a deserter from the Foreign Legion. That's a lie. <sighs> oh, is it? 
Well, read the telegram. It's all right there. Your brother has served only six years of a seven-year tour of duty. William is not a deserter. Now, how would you know that, Miss Reed? You told me yourself you haven't seen him in 20 years? Now, if you're sensible, you'll talk him into surrendering. What's on paper is always the most important thing to you, isn't it, Lieutenant? This says he's a deserter, so you believe it. Well, that's not smart. It's called gullible. Watch your tongue, Miss Reed. When I receive an official communique, I'm expected to act upon it. Now, I'll only ask you this once. Do you have any idea where your brother is? No. And if I did, you'd be the last person I'd tell. Well, let me tell you this. Just because he's your brother doesn't mean you can expect any preferential treatment from me. I am a soldier, and as a soldier, I do not have any tolerance for deserters. I can see I'm wasting my time here. Don't do anything foolish, because if I find you're harboring that fugitive, there will be charges. Is that understood? Thank you for the legal advice, Lieutenant. Bill me. I've just checked down at the wharf. He doesn't appear to have left by boat. What about you? Any luck? Molay thinks Williams deserted the Foreign Legion. Really? Based on? A telegram. Could have been sent by anyone. And are you sure he hasn't? Absolutely. Then we'd better find your brother before Molay does. Ali is with Lavinia. You see, okay? Lavinia's taking her to the bar. Garde le foie. So I noticed. Two men from the bar. The woman who runs the stables. Garde la foi, what are you two talking about? Do you know what it means? Yes, of course I know what it means. It means keep the faith. I still don't know what you're talking about. It means we're being followed. We didn't want you to turn around. David, Alaire's upstairs in my room. Okay. I need to speak to you, Jack. Upstairs. Counting on me, Jack. Consider it done. Did you have any idea the Legion was after William? I know nothing of this. Did he say anything to you that could help us? When William came here, he told me he had to go into the mountains for a while. He said there were some men he had to find. Men he had to find? Or men who were trying to find him? Men he had to find. Well, that's what he said. When he came back two weeks later, he didn't want to talk about it. Absinthe. The other day, Absinthe, right? You two were looking for the big guy. What was his name? William Reed. And right now, we're looking for a white man. A big Polynesian guy and a white woman. Oh, they just walked in, went out that way. I thought you were more interested in the big guy. About him. You seen him? Maybe. Where? Did William tell you where he'd gone in the mountains? No. Did he say anything? A grassy hill. He said something about a grassy hill that looked like the face of the moon. Oh, and water that he could hear but couldn't see. A fufu. Do you know where it is? Yeah. I know exactly where it is. Jack's doing his job. A few more minutes, those two will be gone. Then we can leave. why you ran. What do you mean? The men who are after you, we know they're from the Legion. Are they after you because you deserted? No. Please, William, let these people help you. If I tell you, they will kill you, don't you understand? No one's going to kill anyone. Time to come clean, William.
I didn't desert. But towards the end of my last tour, I was posted to an outfit commanded by a General Jean Picard. He used the unit as his own personal army. Some of the things he did. Murder, pillage. When my tour was up, he found out I intended to report him. So I ran. I had no option. I've been running ever since. And these men who are after you? Soldiers from my outfit. They work for the General. And the General altered your records to make it look like you deserted. These men, they have orders to kill you? Everything I have told you is true, my sweetheart. But we can leave tonight. We don't have to be married here. I have land in Samoa. And you'll be running from these assassins for the rest of your life. Can't we at least get him out of here tonight? Then we can try and clear up this mess. We can sure as hell try. We're four miles from the village. Where was it you saw Reed? Ah, we're closer than you think. Oh. I hate Ebs. Ah. He was right here. He's camping here. He comes back here tonight. You let us know. You understand? Up your absent. Be much safer on David's boat. I'll see you soon. You take care of it there for me. Yeah. Let's go. Are you hit? Your friends from the Legion? Come on! Off your weapons! Don't move! Any of you? Lieutenant! Stay back, Miss Reed! Trouble really runs in your family, doesn't it, Miss Reed? Lieutenant! Oh, just keep quiet, Reed! William Reed, you are under arrest for desertion. He's not a deserter, Lieutenant. Take the prisoner. Right up the sky. You don't know what you're doing, Lieutenant. Don't you listen? He's not a deserter. There are men on this island who have orders to kill him. They're the ones you need to arrest. Oh, is that so, Greek? And I seem to remember warning you about helping a fugitive. Now take them away! <laughs> Where's Lavinia with that bail money? She should be here any minute. William, how do we prove you served your time in the Legion? My paper's there. Probably buried in the Ministry in Paris. We should get on to that as soon as we get out of here. Well, you can certainly see the prisoner. Is this him? Certainly is. Our orders are to take him back with us, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Well, this all looks in order to me. Once I get the extradition papers, I'll release him into your custody. You can't release him to us now. I haven't got the proper extradition papers. You have the notice of desertion. I have a deserter in custody where he'll remain until I receive direct orders from Paris. Thank God the lieutenant's a stickler for regulations. Then we will talk later, lieutenant. Release him. You're all free to go. Your bail has been paid. Molly, don't you listen. Those are the two men I told you about. What do you mean? Reed is not a deserter. He was framed. He threatened to inform on General Picard, and those two men were sent here to kill him. Well, I have a telegram. Yeah, sent that's to... right. Sent by the General himself. I don't believe a minute of this. But I shall check with Paris. And if there's any truth in any of it, well, Reed will be safer in jail than on the streets. Molly. The least you can do is put on more guards. Go home, all of you. My jail is safe. Got Ella for my friend. 
We'll make sure you can get to your wedding. Did you see those men? They can't wait to get it, William. You're right. Molly may want to wait for paperwork, but my guess is those two won't wait. Did you telegraph Paris? Yes. But even if the cable gets in the right hands, we won't hear anything until tomorrow. How do we know it won't wind up with somebody who's in the general's pocket? And in the meantime, William is a sitting duck. Yeah, well, he can't stay in jail, that's for sure. He won't last the night. Well, we can't get him out. The guards know all of us. Unless... Unless we make it look as if he's no longer there. I'm sorry, Miss Reed. I can't let you into the jail. I'm under orders. No civilians allowed. But this might be my last chance to see my brother. I was hoping to have dinner with him. I'm sorry, miss. Can you give him this? I can take it in. But I'll have to check it. Oh, I understand. Thank you. So, the lieutenant caught up with your boy before you did. You think I don't know nothing, huh? No, I know more than you do. Some of the soldiers at the jail are friends of mine. Good friends. You got something to tell us? Buy me a bottle. Scotch? None of that. Absinthe. Scotch. Well, congratulations. For what? You two made the lieutenant a little nervous. That's not easy to do. What are you talking about? David Grief whispered to the lieutenant, you two are here to get rid of William Reed. The lieutenant's got a good record here. He's not going to take any chances. So they're transferring Reed to Matala Jail. A two-man escort took him out of Matavai, first line. About an hour ago. You don't believe me? You take the Four Crosses Trail to Matala, see for yourself. You might even catch up with them.
drop it. I feel much better. <laughs> I think you better give yourself up. Enough evidence for you, Lieutenant. Get up. Te valo o yo tatu tua a o mai se fa man o a yanga fa pitua ulunga ole ula i. We call upon our ancestors to bring down special blessings on this couple. Ene tama tai. May the Almighty God Atua take this beautiful bride to be his daughter. We hope he brings down great grace and good fortune. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here in the presence of God to witness this union of two fine people, William and Alea. William, do you take this woman, Alea, to be your lawful wedded wife, to love, honor, and cherish, to have and to hold from this day forth in sickness and in health until death do you part? I do. Alea, do you take this man, William, to be your lawful wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish, to have and to hold from this day forth in sickness and in health until death do you part? I do. I pronounce you man and wife. William tells me he and Aaliyah plan to live in Samoa. Would it help to talk? I've hardly talked these past few days with all the preparations for the wedding. It was a beautiful ceremony. Are you afraid? Is that it? Are you afraid it won't work? Well, I am committed, Lavinia. Can't you see that? You want the future to take care of itself. That's what she said. That's not commitment, David. You know I love you. I think you do. But I don't think you understand how strongly I feel about this. So what are you saying? I can't do this. I can't do this, David. I love you. You don't want the same things that I want. Do you want me to leave? <laughs> 